toy hunt. I just want to drink some nice coffee. I just want a toy hunt. I just want a toy hunt. I just want a toy hunt. Whoa! Did you guys see that? I know. I know. I'm working on some new stuff. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's get to opening. Yo everybody, it is Rocker the Great coming to you with another toy review. Now in today's toy review, I'm trying the camera thing again. Hopefully I'm looking good. Am I looking good? Alright, great. We are opening a bunch of stuff. I have some mail call. We're going to do some reviews. This, uh, what I've been trying to do on this channel lately is um, a little bit of everything in my videos. It's so boring to do just a normal unboxing or normal toy review. So, I like to mix things up. We have this uh, 112 scale Leon from Resident Evil 6 Pocket World or PW Toys. We have uh, some zombies to, you know, to, with the scale comparison with it. Uh, I'm sorry guys, it's always weird with the two camera thing. I'm getting used to it. This is my second video trying it, so bear with me. And make sure you're leaving comments down below. Let me know feedback. You like it? Let me know comments. Leave comments. It helps the algorithm. And enough of this. Let's let's get right into some stuff because we have a lot of things in today's video. Um, guys, make sure to watch these. These are, you know, I, everyone likes the toy hunts, right? But uh, this is, oh, so this is, I got this in the mail. I just want to go over some stuff I get in the mail. So I got this on Macari, and thanks to you guys signing up using my link down below, always I say, if you're going to sign up to Macari, use the link down below. Uh, oh, beautiful. That disc is very good. Uh, I only paid 10 bucks for this. Or I, I didn't pay anything, actually, because when you guys sign up using my link, and if you use my code signing up to Macari, we both get credit, and you can use that credit to buy whatever you want. So, uh, pay, basically, this was free, so thank you guys for signing up. And if not, definitely use my link below, or else both of us don't get anything, and it was all for nothing. You blew it! You blew so now, it! Um, let's see. Before we get into the Resident Evil, I'll open up one of these figures. So, uh, this leak... So I bought this, if you guys remember, my road trip diorama. I bought this on my road trip diorama and uh, let me see, let's focus. And uh, I really loved this thing, man. These things are really cool for the price. This is $10 and it has import quality. Um, a decent face. I mean, you don't get any accessories. You don't get any extra hands or anything. Um, that would have took it over the edge. But for $10, this is a line that I definitely do not hate. It really is import quality. Uh, feels like a little mini figure arts, even though it's not much smaller than a figure arts. It's got articulation where it needs the most, and it definitely has a higher... Uh, it has a higher feel than the Dragon Stars. So for $10 cheaper, I do like this. And I will get into this. As you can see, I bought already my second one. I got Frieza. We'll open him up after we go through this box. Okay. I got a Goku. Goku's really the hardest one to find. Just on my toy hunts alone, I go to stores all over the place. Uh, most of you are probably here for my toy hunts. I go, I toy hunt in all different states, all different stores, and I've only come came across him once. So, Damn, you know, son. it's pretty rare. Even though he's not hard to find online, like you could buy him online, but finding him in the store is hard. So there you go. Let's go over it now. This is a uh, something I bought on eBay. Yeah. So as you guys could obviously tell, I've been on a little bit of a Resident Evil kick. And so uh, we're currently playing Resident Evil 7 right now. And I've been, I've always been collecting the Resident Evil figures. They're just so hard to come by that, you know, I don't really talk about it much because there's not really much to talk about. So, oh, that's not good. Oh no, it broke. Guys, it broke. Oh no, just joking. Okay, so hold on a sec. Oh, good. All right, so let's, let's, oh, let's unbox this and then I'll, I'll talk more about it. So... What I've been doing is, anytime Resident Evil figures do pop up, not for a million dollars, I swoop in and I pick them up. So, ooh, there's more stuff than I thought in here. Okay. Hold on, we're almost... Let me get this stuff. Oh, perfect. I, I bought this lot uh, of the Toy Biz Resident Evil figures, and let me show you why. So, he's not complete. So, what I'm going to need, if anybody has them, this thing has two heads. You could do two different forms. Uh, yeah, here we go. So I need the the head white head part of the this form that you use this for Like this is a form and then or you could just have him standing up and there's a head here So I need the both versions of the white heads if anybody has that out there uh, Let me know. I would greatly appreciate that. So let me put this to the side 
And now the cool thing that I got was, oh, this is, so now I just I have to track down his legs and his hat, which are probably the hardest things to find. But this is the uh, zombie cop that comes with the Claire Redfield Toy Biz figures. And now he has a freaking donut, guys. He has a freaking donut. What? Um, he, yeah, his head with the skull, like uh, his brains and his cap. What the thing is, you would shoot this with like the projectile from Claire's uh, bow, and it would hit this and it explodes him. So that's pretty cool. I, I'm sure I'll track that down. Uh, another thing now is, oh, is he complete? This figure might be complete. All right, let me see. Yeah, look, you pop his head in there. Oh, so he might be complete. All right, cool. And then you push it down and his head's supposed to pop out. So maybe there's something just broken with his head not popping out, but looks good to me so far. So that's cool. Now with the Chris Redfield, this is Chris Redfield. I have one that is in better condition and it's missing his, oh, he even has the sword. Okay, so now, uh, I don't know if you guys do this with other figures, but I have a figure, uh, Chris, that's incomplete. So he's missing, ooh, he's got like glue on him. He, you told me to put jelly on him? No one will get that reference. Um, he, I, I, the Chris Redfield I have is better condition and he's missing this uh, sword or knife sheath and then this little pouch on the side. This guy's just missing his arm. So maybe I'll even just pop the arm off the other one and pop it onto here. Perfect. And I'll have a Chris Redfield that's not broken. So that's cool. Then this is also Chris Redfield's gun with the projectile. So usually this is missing. So I'm just trying to slowly track down all these Resident Evil figures from the 90s. And I'm, I'm having a blast, man. It's not easy and it's not cheap, but I'm, I'm trying my best. And now this is Jill Valentine's arm. So if I ever find a Jill Valentine missing her arm, we're, we're all set. Perfect. Ooh, there's all gook on it. So let's now, let's open up a Frieza. Oh, Frieza. Now this has tape on the bottom. I'm not sure if this other one had tape on the bottom. Oh, it does, okay. I was like, I hope nobody, um, I hope nobody like repackaged this because I've been buying a lot of repackaged figures and I don't like it. Guys, stop it. If you can't afford the figure, uh, just outright steal it. Don't do the, don't do it. Rock of the Great tells kids to steal. No, I'm saying stop doing that repackage nonsense. Uh, if, you, if you're gonna steal, just steal it. Don't ruin it for other people. So, um, let me see. And obviously that's a joke, but, or I'm serious. I don't even know anymore, guys. Don't ever take me serious. So here we are. Now this is Frieza. Frieza! Um, and, his, weird, okay, so he doesn't have the best head articulation compared to the other, um, the Goku. And he's got a single jointed knee, again, not as good as the Goku. I think there's a, I think we're learning something. Maybe this figure is not as good as the Goku. His leg articulation, not as good as the Goku. His feet articulation, say it with me everybody, not as good as the Goku. Uh, his tail articulation, Look, say it with me guys, not as good as the Goku. Um, but I mean, he does look good. The paint job is pretty good. So, so let's put him down. You know what? Let's see. I'm sure he needs his tail to stand. So here he goes. And now the thing about this Frieza, Frieza is um, I think it's more in scale. Yeah, hold on a second guys. I thought so. Uh, it could, it, you could fudge it. Hold on. Yeah, look at that. You could fudge it, but I think he is actually more in scale. And can, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe he is more in scale with the uh, figure arts. I'm pretty sure that's how tiny Frieza is supposed to be. So I'm probably gonna just put this right in my figure arts uh, collection. What do you guys think? I think that's pretty good compared to these two for size comparison. Again, I just bought this for fun. They were 10 bucks. Listen, I'll, t I'll buy $10 um, Dragon Ball Z figures all day. This is what I was most excited about, guys. Now, again, you can see my camera right there. Uh, <laughs> behind the scenes of YouTube. Now, this is what I've been looking for. Now, I never actually played Resident Evil 6, so that's why when this Leon figure first came out, I was just like, oh, it's 100 bucks, I don't need it. Uh, but then I was like, Psh, I do need it. So I went and bought it anyway. And um, 
finally, it's after what, it's been out for like a year or so. I do have the Resident Evil 2 remake uh, pre-ordered. Oh wow, that's pretty cool, man. These really are like mini hot toys. So here, let's see. We got Leon from Resident Evil 6 right here. Let's open him up and we're gonna do, this is where we're gonna do the full review. So definitely guys, uh, ooh, hopefully you're enjoying all the content. Leave comments down below, I'm always interested to see what you guys want to talk about, what you guys want to see on the channel. Uh, now this broke, which is not a good sign. Uh, Dragon Baru, not a good sign. Uh, let's see, let's get everything out and let's see what's inside. Oh, yeah, so he's all over the damn place. Let's knock all this stuff down. Get those little beads. Don't eat those beads ever, guys. All right, unless you want to be swimming with the fishes. All right. Now, let's do the accessories first. So he has a grenade launcher. I don't know why I want to talk Japanese today, guys. Please, please bear with me. I swear I'm Italian. Uh, I'm an Italian boy. I talk Italian. I speak Italian. But some, something about uh, anime. I guess I'm a weeb now. Guys, am I a weeb? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Now, I don't know where this goes. I'm sure this goes onto this gun. But it fell off out of the package. So this actually has the rocket launcher. Um, like separate so you could like put it in there. That's really nice little added detail They totally didn't need to do that. So that's a really cool accessory right there now He has the pistol and I'm, I think that's like a little scope on the bottom uh, Does the, the clip come out? Oh shoot no way all right the clip comes out so this is like Mezco toys quality Look at that and you can even see a little tiny bullet right there. So he's loaded, guys. Remember, if you do have one of these, you always make sure there's no bullets. The chamber's empty and everything. Make sure, guys, and always finger on the safety. You know, don't put the finger on the trigger ever. Okay, guys? So, oh, damn it. See? I told you guys, stop. Um, even with the toy guns, you got to be careful. Now, he, he has a shotgun. Oh, and the pump works. Look at that. Now, cause can this go on here or something? I don't know, but there's a thing on the top, I guess the scope you could take off if you want to customize it. Cause you know what the cool thing about Resident Evil is during the game, you get upgrades for your guns. So I definitely have to play six. I'm running through them right now. I've been a fan from when I was a kid. I played one, two, and three, and then I never played one after that. Because I grew up and I, I, you know, I found out about girls. Shh, don't tell anyone. But now uh, I got, I played Resident Evil, the remake 2 on PS4 and it was great. And then I played Resident Evil 8 and then I played Resident Evil 3 remake. And then I played Resident Evil 7 right now currently. So a uh, very cool shotgun. Now let's take a look at his hands. He has a, um, a shooting hand. He has a like, I'm never going to fall in love again. Now like take my hand if you want to live. He has two gripping hands, and now let's just look at Leon, okay guys? I, I've been wanting to get to here. I want to look at this Leon figure. Uh-oh, is his arm backwards? Uh-oh, I think his arm is backwards. Be careful, guys, this is an expensive figure. So now, this is Leon, again, from Resident Evil 6. Uh, I would have loved a Resident Evil 2 Leon. That's the one that, when I hear Leon, that's the one I think about. That's the one I always thought was really cool growing up. Um, this has got really good articulation, man. I heard good things about this figure, but again, sometimes, you know, a good uh, a, a review or a picture, you can't tell. Like, some figures just look better in person, and I feel like that's what's going on here. Uh, double jointed elbows, but he does have the two shirts on, so that hinders it a lot. Oh, he has three shirts on, look at that. Hold on to your butt. They could have just not included that red shirt underneath, so that's cool. So he's got Velcro, and then this is a zipper. I'm not gonna try to zipper it because I'm not a madman. We're, we might need to upgrade soon. Make sure, guys, if you want better things on the channel, sign up to become a channel member. We have a bunch already. We actually just got another MVP channel member that's like the highest level you could join so thank you guys so much there's different things for what you could afford uh, all the channel membership goes right back into the channel um, oh my 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 phone just now it, it got full so right now you're gonna be watching the rest of this without a camera so that's okay guys we, we, now you just have my hands and I could focus more on what I'm doing let's take a look at the articulation now he has a one of those super articulated bodies underneath it oh yeah jo join up for the channel membership it really helps out the channel or buy channel merch I do have merch down below buy my merch 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 is the link always check out you get a nice shirt and you do your toy hunts in it I have other people uh, I had already some customer shots 
you know what? I'll put in one customer shot right here. Beautiful. Um, you know, if you guys buy the shirts, take pictures in them, and I'll post it on my videos. So that's cool. Uh, he has a nice butt. <laughs> he has a nice butt. What? I feel it under there. He's got uh, like quad muscles. Right, this squads right here. It feels like there's an articulated, uh, strong body under there, like muscle body. Okay. As much as I'm not familiar with this look for Leon, it's still a Leon. Uh, it does look like Leon in the movie, you know, with the longer hair. So you could always use it like that. He has a little flashlight on his head right here. I would have liked no flashlight, so it's not so specific to this show maybe a, an extra head would have definitely been really nice but the price is, is expensive but I, I feel like it's worth it a little bit now let's see oh I did see people say this and now I see it okay so uh, this is a Mezco zombie from Dawn of the Dead and he definitely does not stack up next to it so you're gonna have to just do you, you'll just have to um, you know like make the shots like look you know and then he could kind of work with this one. Now this is from Palisades. They're really expensive, so I bought him broken and I added that foot on him. He was missing a foot. I took a wrestler foot and put it on there. So um, let me see. I mean, I guess you could you can make it work, but he's still like a, a few inches shorter and a little bit out of scale. Yeah, I heard people complaining about these new bootleg figures that they're making from Japan, China, Japan, wherever they're making them. They're, they're at like an, in it's a whole new scale. They say 112 scale, but it's a whole nother scale. It's smaller, so that's interesting. Um, what do you guys think? Did you like today's video? Leave comments down below. It helps out the channel. Uh, do you like me doing all these different types of reviews now? I just mix it up so there's a little bit for everybody. Leave comments down below. I got a little bit of a headache, so I'm going to end it here, guys. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Peace. Damn, my headache.